Bonjour, everyone. Hi, this is Neshi Lokatz. Welcome to, I don't even know what to call this. This is the second time I've done some sort of impromptu <laughs> show without, without actually knowing what to call it. We're doing meditations in the morning just to get us um, grounded and centered and protected um, so that we can uh, flow through our day and be of service, not just to ourselves, but to others in a good way, right? And I'm starting just a little bit early so that we can get um, um, it shared out, right? Um, because I wanted to send it over to to um, my live stream too. And so I'm going to take a second just to do that, okay? i got to find us first. Um, and so this, this meditation really uh, is all about... Um, being of service and helping as much as I can um, to help us get prepared for every single day that we need to to be out there, right? And because we, most of us, I would say 99.9% .9 of us here at Star Nations Community, um, we're awakened beings, right? And so um, now is our time. Now is our time. So in order to be of service and in a good way, coming from our hearts, um, we really do need to be grounded. We need to be um, centered and we need to have our protection up, especially us empaths, right? Because, um, yeah, we're, we're on the front line, so to speak. <laughs> so, so hang on. Let me, let me uh, send this over to my, my news feed and um, then we can get started. Um, and if you'd like to to send um, the link or the show over, show, I'm so much in a rut. If you want to send the meditation over to a friend or share it on your your timeline, or um, you know, if you feel like um, I'm, I'm this is just for me, that's okay. That's all right. If it's if you're doing it for yourself, and um, and that's all good. Okay. And so I'm just going to send it over to. To my live stream, my uh, live my feed. Okay, there we go. There, and um, let's see. I got a, a, a slew of people that I promised that I'll send the any live stream to. So holding up my end of the bargain, <laughs> I'm going to send it over to them. All right, just going to take me just a second. Um, okay. And eventually, you guys, I'm going to get the bot started so that this all got, does is automated for me, and I don't have to do this piece. There we go. All right. I think that's good. I think I hit I'll hit them all. Good. So um, when I, um, this this all happened yesterday, because I'd been in medit my own meditations, right, and uh, trying to figure out how we can come through Star Nations and, and to be helpful and um, what's the best path to take, right? Because so many people are home and, you know, using that keyword, a keyword, <laughs> quarantine, right? Um, and their, their lives have changed quite a bit and, uh, what's normal is no normal. There's no normal to it right now. Um, they're doing the best they can, right? Trying to, um, get, um, their, their feet underneath them literally. And so I thought, well, this is one way to help. And this is also a way to help those of us that are, uh, energy workers, light workers, um, to start our day, um, in the best way possible so that we're prepared um, to do our work, right? <laughs> so, um, and we can do this together. And um, it does, it won't take long. Um, I, this is not meant to be a um, live stream show, you know, or hour long shows, that sort of thing. No, this is merely meant to be like 15, 20 minutes, um, 30 minutes at the very, very most. Um, and my plan, the intention at least, coming from my spiritual team um, is that we'll be doing this for at least a month, maybe six weeks, um, because by that time things will have um, kind of 
settled a little bit and we can then the new terrain will be able to see a little bit clearer right and so this is all to be helpful and so here we go okay the things that you need to do before we get started is you need to be in a comfortable position met foreman time <laughs> i already took it <laughs> um i forgot to turn off the alarm all right so um if you're going to be on uh, seated, that's okay. You can be on the floor or in a chair. Um, if you're in a chair, you want to make sure your feet are touching the floor. Okay, so that means that you may have to put some pillows behind you a bit because you want to be um, have a, a straight back as possible. But I also want you to be comfortable, right? Um, if you're on the floor, um, best place placement for your feet and your legs are straight out. Like, like little kids sit, okay? Because you want to be an open circuit. Um, you can lie down if you wish, because um, uh, I'm not going to be showing anything on the screen. You're not going to miss anything. Um, as long as you hear, you can hear my voice, that's all you really need. Um, Stephanie is in the house, and she says, uh, gave us a really good hint yesterday. For those of us with um, back issues, right, that if, you're, if you lay on the floor and you kind of kick your legs up so that they're against the wall, um, or over, maybe even over a chair um, seat, it takes the pressure off from the low back, right? So I'm going to give you a little time to get situated, and then we'll get started, okay? So you have a little time to, to send this over to a friend, family member, um, another person in our community that you don't see them in the chat, and you think that they would uh, they'd enjoy being here with us, um, and also to get yourself prepared. For meditation right now what I'm sharing with you is something that I um, I use just about every morning now there there's been times when I've, I've skipped a morning usually when I'm on respite and Paul and I have a free weekend I tend to sleep in right so um, <clears throat> so we're gonna get started in just a second um, I think this is Stephanie. I'm not sure. She says, I just saw a commercial on YouTube from 1970 that stated, Super Sugar Crisp gives you superpowers. Is this a meditation better than that? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is, especially if you're an empath. Um, that right now, that is your superpower. It's true. And so you, we want to be prepared, right? We want to be prepared as we start our day. Now, as you know, most grounding, centering, and protection techniques, um, most of them last about 12 hours. So for those of you that are in um, the Eastern, uh, Midwest, Mountain, and um, Pacific time zones here in the States, um, you're good until this evening, right? And then you'll, you'll want to do, do a meditation again, okay? Um, for those of you in other parts of the world, um, this may be your evening one, or this could be your afternoon one that's getting you prepared for the evening, right? Um, but uh, you'll want to do it twice a day, twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, so that you have your full um, Earth Day and evening covered, okay? Those of us with a uh, activated Merkaba, this is a meditate because we're covered 24-7, 365, right? <clears throat> but this meditation helps us to bring um, our, our mind, our thoughts to the present moment. Right? It helps us to, to bring uh, um, our whole being to the present moment. So here we go. Um, <clears throat> situated, comfy, good. <laughs> I should have known that was Rob. <laughs> about the super sugar crisp all right uh, okay all right so here we go i'm gonna take a big deep breath in first okay here we go big deep breath in at the top hold it just for a second and then you'll blow it out big deep breath in holding it just for a second and then blowing it out <sighs> It just brings us here. Okay. And we're going to do it another time. Big deep breath in. Holding it just for a second and then blowing it out. Good. 
Just breathing easy and naturally now. And then quietly to yourself, or if you wish out loud, that's up to you, um, calling your name four times and your birth name, your full name. You can use your, your um, spirit name if you wish, okay? But you're calling it in four directions. Your intention is to bring all of you back to the present moment, back home to you, okay? So go ahead and do that, calling your name in the four directions. And with your intention, bringing all of you to your heart chakra. Okay, good. And now turning your attention to Grandfather Sky, Gamisho Masay Nan. To the moon, the stars, the sun, to the creator, to the prime creator, sensing, feeling, seeing that golden light of the creator's blessings coming down through your crown chakra, through your crystalline tube, that golden light of the Creator's blessings, pure love, coming down through your crown chakra. down through your third eye, down through your, sh your throat chakra, that golden sparkling light, down through your high heart, that golden sparkly light going through your heart chakra. down through your solar plexus, flowing down through you, down through your sacral, through your root chakra, that golden sparkling light of the Creator's blessings. Down through your legs, passing your thighs, down through your knees, flowing down through your calves, that golden sparkling light of the Creator's blessing, down through your ankles, to your feet and then sensing, feeling, seeing that golden sparkly light going down through your instep, down into Grandmother Earth, Kokmis Kikan, our Grandmother Earth flowing down through you, down into Grandmother Earth, down to her heart, her core, connecting you to her. Taking a moment to feel that connection 
between Grandfather Sky and Grandmother Earth. Asking Grandmother Earth to come to you, to help you in your connection to her, telling her that you love her. Grandmother, I love you. I love you. Sensing, feeling, seeing. Grandmother Earth's energy, her love flowing up through you up through your legs, up through your root chakra. Her love, that green, green loving light flowing up through your sacral chakra, up through your solar plexus, up through your heart chakra, through your high heart. Grandmother Earth's love for you and that green sparkly light up through your throat chakra, through your third eye, up through your crown, all the way up to the sun, to the central sun, to the creator, to the prime creator. the connection between heaven and earth. The Holy Trinity, the Divine Father, the Divine Mother, and you, their Divine Child. Taking a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, calling to your spiritual team, asking those on your spiritual team that assist you with protection to step forward and to create that circle of protection around you, 360 degrees. Tune to the frequency of love. And that only those energies that's meant for your highest good be allowed through. And just for a moment, Turning your attention to that, that circle of protection, just sensing it. That it's in place. Thanking your team. Being grateful to Grandfather Sky and Grandmother Earth. And asking Grandfather Sky, forgot this part, with that golden light still flowing through you, is that gentle spiral of clockwise for women, counterclockwise for men. As that golden light flows through you in a gentle spiral, centering you in your connection to Grandmother Earth.
Yeah. Good. Take way in. Taking a big deep breath in. And then exhaling. And then coming back to the present time. Completely here, completely grounded, centered, and protected. Ready, ready for your day. Ready for your day. I can hear, <laughs> I have so many drums in here. I can hear my my uh, my voice kind of um, bouncing off the, the drums. It's kind of cool. You're in my meditation room with me. This is where I chose to do this uh, live stream. And so, because it's kind of the epicenter of my home. And uh, um, this is a good place to be. I think for these me quick meditations that don't take us very long, um, but it's very, very meaningful. And it's uh, my way to be of assistance, to be helpful to you, um, so that we can be in a position to do what we're meant to do here, right? As uh, enlightened beings, um, awakened beings, so that we can be in a place, uh, a good place um, of service. So no matter what comes your way, today that you are grounded protected and centered and um, able to to be in the flow with it right and be as um, to use your gifts to use your gifts as you flow through your day so um, I just want to say hi to everybody that's here um, let's go up I don't know I'm doing a native live stream and I don't see all of the comments rats <laughs> well, um, who I do see is Amy Daniels is here. Hello, Amy. And Christina's here. Uh, Sally's here. Barbara's here. Hello, hello. Julie is here. Hello, Julie. Um, and yeah, Lynn's here. Good morning, Lynn. Stephanie's here. Gina's here. Yeah. Hey, Teresa's here. Hello, Teresa. I did finish watching what you just sent to me this morning. I did. I want to talk to you about that. And of course, Rob is here. Hello, Rob. Good to have you here. And I also got your your um, um, music in, in my inbox, too. I haven't had a chance to look at it, but I will. And you're welcome, Julie. Christina saying that was beautiful. You're welcome, Christina. Rob is saying, um, I finished my morning meditation yesterday, went to work, and still had to ground 10 minutes later. Yep, that's the energy that's going around these days. Yeah, and it's good, though. It's good that you're checking in. That That is the best way to be. Anytime something feels like, mm, what was that? Check in. Make sure you're still connected and grounded. And um, please know that um, the energies that come through your circle of protection um, what we what we ask is that anything that comes through is for your highest good, right? So that means that we're not cutting ourselves off from um, what we still need to do, which is um, our soul work and our, our life lessons, right? Um, and so anything that comes through, even though if you deem it, label it as a negative, pause if you can and say, okay, what talking to your team, okay, what's really going on here? Because sometimes... It's a nudge for us to actually use our gifts because maybe we're not we're not applying them. And that is in a moment that we can actually apply one of our gifts, right? So um, yeah, and it really is this communication that we have with our team right now um, is to to really lean into them um, because they can they can remind us of things, they can bring us uh, new information, right? Um, and so to really lean into them. You're welcome, Rob. Um, he's asking, you can do a Be Live with Re I know, I realize that. It's just that um, today and yesterday is like, this is so new. <laughs> and um, trying to fit it into my morning, right? Um, and so, I, you know, we'll get there. Because I, I have better lighting, I have other stuff. But this was really more about you guys. It wasn't so much about um, um, this being a professional live stream kind of thing, right? Um, this is more about you guys. And so, hi, Amy, you're welcome. And Rob is saying it's on the contributors page. Uh, Be Live doesn't have the ability to play audio. It requires creative workaround. Oh, I see, you're talking about the music. Okay, 
Hey, Robin's here too, and so is Kimberly. So, um, you know, the, these are all recorded automatically at live, uh, Facebook, right? And we're on the business page for Star Nations, um, on the public page. So anytime, like this evening, um, or if you're in another part of the world in, in the morning, um, you can always come and play this recorded piece so that you, if you need assistance, if you need assistance in doing your meditation, right, um, that's what it's there for. And, uh, and we'll do this at least for another, at least through probably the middle of April, maybe until the end of April um, together. And, um, and by that time, we should have things seeing the energy just a little bit settled so that we can, we, we can see what our new terrain is, right? Um, and we've been talking about this for a really long time. Tomorrow um, is, is um, my Sunday afternoon live stream called the Spiritual Roundtable Dream Interpretation, right? And it's held in the private group um, that's attached to this business page, which is the live stream um, uh, private group. If you're not a member of that group, you please just ask and um, either I or Rob can let you in. Um, tomorrow, I don't know if it's really going to be about dream interpretation. It might be um, because people are having all kinds of dreams that you know they might want to share about. But I thought we'd also um, maybe chat a bit about um, everything that we have, those of us that are awake, right? Everything that we have worked on for decades, at least a couple of decades. And where does that leave us today? Because it's, it was all a primer for exactly what we're going through right now, right? So I thought maybe we could, we could chat about that a bit too. So, all right, you guys, I have a call at 1030 that I have to be ready for. And thank you so much for being here and uh, doing the meditation, getting prepared for your day, be in a position to um, to be the best you you can be today, right? Um, even if that means that it's more about your own self-care, whether it is uh, taking it easy. Um, if you're an empath, please um, do it in small steps if you're just beginning, right, to use your gift. For those of us who have been around the block a few times with it, um, yeah, just to make sure that you are uh, discharging <laughs> all of that energy, whether you're doing it into the into grandmother earth or if you're doing your salt baths, or um, is uh, because we're we're doing a lot of work right now, okay? And so you you really do need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself too. All right, all right. So one more thing. I don't know if you guys saw it on my my um, my my personal page. Um, there is a new group out there, and it's called um, Social Distancing Powwow Group. And uh, because a lot of the powwows um, have been canceled, um, the early spring powwows and those kinds of things have been canceled, and we have. Um, People on the po it's called a powwow trail. It's really their job. Um, this is how they support themselves throughout the year, right? Um, is to to go out and do competition powwow dancing, and they have thousands, literally thousands of dollars invested in their regalia um, or in their drums and and that sort of thing. And so um, they're more than just performers. Right, they're more than just performers. They're they're uh, performing, yes, um, but many many of them are also connected in a spiritual way, and so they they needed somewhere to put that energy, but also to to be able to um, to earn some money for their families, right? And so through that new group, they're they're going to be doing their very first. Um, internet powwow today. I think grand entry, let's see, uh, they're going to get started at 11, 11 a.m. Uh, mountain time. So that's what, um, noon here in the Midwest in the central, um, that'd be one o'clock Eastern and, um, what is that? Nine, nine a.m. Pacific. I think I got that right. 
Um, and so if you want to join us for a little fun and to watch how they're going to do this, this is, yeah, this is going to be fun. So, um, and I think grand entry is at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. So I'll be in, I'll be in, in and out um, for that one. You might see me uh, doing comments and that kind of thing there. So come and join us. Come and do a powwow with us, okay? All right. So have a good day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning. It's 10 a.m. Central Time that we'll be doing another grounding, centering, and protection, okay? Meditation. All right. Bama Mina. It's Potawatomi 4. Until we see each other again. Love you guys.